The Secret Covenant. This was apparently written by John D. Rockefeller, like in the early 1800s. An illusion. It will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find them a cure on our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their mind and reproductive systems. From this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used on film, and will grow accustomed to them, and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons in the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill them and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will yet create yet more medicines. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, obese, and when they come us to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with the inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so they may be with, one, with the oneness of it all. Part two, secret code. Um, their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say if they refuse we shall find ways to implement mind altering technology into their lives we will establish their governments and establish opposites within we will own both sides we will always hide our objective but carry out our plan they will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil our families will never mix with theirs our blood must be pure always for it is the way we will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them and kindly and, gent by and gently letting them think we are guiding themselves. They are guiding themselves. Uh, we will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. They will blind, the hate will blind them totally and never shall they see that from the conflicts which we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. 
We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. Wow. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop by drop by drop, we will advance in our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom that they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. We will, when they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes of present and different story to the world and present a different story for the, to the world for we shall own all the media. The recruits will be called initiates and we and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Wow. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. Okay, part three. Oh, it's almost done. We will call the recruit. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not of us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn the truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the travel, the light, and travel, and stars. They will never reach the higher realms, for killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know until you do. Mm. Amazing. For the truth will be hidden. The truth will be in their face. Oh, the truth will be hidden in their face so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from time immoral, immemorial. But if they ever find out that they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out together that they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run, for it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have been revealed, and we are, and they will hunt us down for who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality will transcend many generations of lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, their blood, as they, I'm not going to quote that. We, the ones who from heaven to earth came, this covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never ever be written or spoken of, for it is the, for if it is the consciousness, it will spawn, will release the fury of the prime creator upon us, and we shall be cast into the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of time of infinity itself. Mic drop.